For this example, we've been asked to differentiate the function y is equal to x squared e to the x. Now, as you can see here, we have two functions multiplying each other. So we could rewrite this as x squared multiplied by e to the x. So we have a product of two functions. And when we have a product of two functions, when we want to differentiate it, we want to use the product rule. Now the product rule tells us that if we have product of two functions, in this case u times v, if we want to differentiate to find the y by dx, we are required to first of all differentiate the u with respect to x and multiply by the v, and then we add to that the derivative of v with respect to x and multiply by the u. So this result here is our product rule. So we're going to apply this rule to help us differentiate the function x squared e to the x. So the first thing we should do is define what we call u and what we call v. Now it doesn't matter which we call u and v, so I'm going to say let u be equal to x squared and let v be equal to e to the x. And then let's have a look at our product rule. What do we need to find? We need to find du by dx and we need to find dv by dx. So I need to differentiate u. So I find du by dx is equal to 2x. Recall that when you differentiate a power of x, all you do is take the power down the front and take 1 off the power. So we see that du by dx is equal to 2x. Now we want to find dv by dx. So we need to differentiate v, which is e to the x with respect to x. And you should recall that when we differentiate the exponential function e to the x, it stays exactly the same. So we can say that dv by dx is equal to e to the x. So all we need to do now is substitute in our values of du by dx, our v, a dv by dx, and our u to find dy by dx. So dy by dx is equal to du by dx, which is 2x, multiplied by v, which is e to the x. And then I add to that the derivative of v with respect to x, which is e to the x. And I multiply by u, which is x squared. So tidying that up a little bit, I see I have 2x e to the x plus x squared e to the x. And then if we really wanted to, to tidy up further, we could factorize out an e to the x because it appears in both terms. And we could also factorize out one power of x. So what will we find? Well, if we take out the x e to the x, it leaves me with just this 2 here. So it will be a 2. And then we've got plus and then we did have x squared e to the x, but we took out the e to the x, and we took out one power of x, so that will just leave us with an x here. So to summarize, if I have the function y is equal to x squared e to the x, using the product rule, I find dy by dx is equal to x e to the x multiplied by 2 plus x. And that there is my final answer.